and welcome to the Jekyll Hyde Club. Today we are reviewing another kind of family tradition Halloween toy, but even if you just enjoy bat toys and you don't have children, this is just a fun addition to your spooky plushy collection. So either way, um, it's a fun thing, kind of like skeleton in the closet. If you have nieces and nephews or kids or if you want to take it to school and you're a teacher, like whatever, it's a fun child's interactive kind of thing for the spooky season or anytime. And then, like, it's just a fun thing if you like to collect bats like we do. But he comes, his name is Sneakaboos, or that's at least a brand name. You can name him whatever you want, I'm sure. We officially give you permission to name your own bat whatever you want, even though we didn't make this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, he comes in a cute little cottage-like box, but it's kind of flimsy. Out of all the different Halloween tradition toys, this is the flimsiest box. It's the cutest because they actually made it a shape, but it's the flimsiest. Um, it came broken, and it was in a big box. So, like with another thing we ordered that will get reviewed, we're going to review Ghoul on the stool soon. Um, for those of you who are new, um, subscribe, check out our channel. I am Morticia. This is our roommate, Slappy. And this is my darling husband, Gomez. Hello! Hello! <laughs> it's not hello, it's hello. Hello! <laughs> because it just sounds better. Okay, um, but this is a cute little cottage box, and I'm gonna take this out. This is just how the bat came on, like he was like tied to it, and I had to cut him down. And it was just a little board thing, but I'm showing you how he is packaged. So I will let Goma show the package, and then we will admire the adorable little plushy bat. He's smaller than we thought, but it's kind of cool because you can do more with him in a way when he's a little smaller. It's kind of cool that the um, box is actually shaped like a cottage. I'll have to say if I can repair it and if I want to do any kind of fun crafty thing with it or not. I don't know, but it will have to have a, lots of fortification tape, but it's cute. Do you want to read a little bit of it? Uh, yes. The front of it says, what will he bring you? A trick or a treat? And the back of it is explaining why. Little Bad Boo loves Halloween, but only can come out when he cannot be seen. He loves to play in the light of the moon by flying around from room to room. So do we. Oh, we already have something in common. Oh. We are pleasure friends. <laughs> Keep a close eye as he's quick on his feet. What did he bring you? A trick or a tree? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're retiring the little cottage box. It kind of has a little handle on it, too, so, well... It has a handle and then it has a wannabe handle here that's harder to grasp. So that's why it was kind of little handle. I was actually being accurate. Okay. Um, he was like $14 from Amazon and then we ordered something else too so we got free shipping. Um, and he's small as you can see against my hands. His wingspan is about as long as my hands. And then the body is not quite as long as my hands. But he's very soft. He's like firm inside so he's well made. Like he doesn't squish too much. But he is soft on the outside. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Like, that hard exterior, but then all gushy and marshmallowy on the inside, but this is the opposite. Okay. He's all like hard on the inside and soft on the outside. Um, he feels kind of velvety, very pleasant. His wings have wire in them so you can pose him. And his ears are so adorable, they remind me of the ears, the giant ears on my bat-shaped purse that I have reviewed and I cameoed yesterday in the review of the Batwing Haunted Mansion keychain. You can tell we like bats on this channel, yes. Yas. Um, and that's his charming little face, and he has little fangs. And I don't know, I don't really love turquoise as a color, like, he's just got, like, colors that don't really speak Halloween or bat to me, and I don't like the fact that people are trying to unspook Halloween with all these strange, bright colors. But I have my cat bat that is pink that I kept meaning to paint that just didn't happen because I do different kinds of crafts, and I don't want to do that. Um, so, I mean, like... I would prefer him to be black or even autumn colors. Like, they could have made him orange and brown and, like, bronze or gold or something. I don't know. But this isn't my favorite colors. But he's a cute bat, and we like him anyway. It's not his fault. You know, we're not going to be bat racist. <laughs> he did not choose his skin color. We're not going to be cruel and judgmental. And now, right under his face is, like, this cute little ruff of extra fur. I don't know if it's supposed to be a beard or just thicker chest fur, but it's very soft and, like, fluffy and longer than the other fur. Um, and he has the favorite part here other than the bendy wings. The wings have wire in them. Um, that's how they bend. So they're very easy to make go different positions. And the ears do it too. I just don't know why you'd want to move the ears. But if you want to, it's like, I guess. Maybe he's paying more attention when he hits books. Maybe. <laughs> I just like them like this. But you can bend the ears. 
Um, but I love the little hooks on his feet, and they talk about that in the review, so that's cool. Um, on even like their written review on Amazon, where they don't ever give as much detail as a video review. That's why video reviews are better. But he's got a little bit of wire in his legs too, and the hooks on the feet will hang easily onto whatever. Like for example, you wouldn't really put him on the cottage probably because there's so many other cool places to hang him. But he does hang well. See, like, oops, he's already so trying to fly. Oh, look how cute. And so even the bottom of this cottage wasn't really made that well. It's like I can just stick my hand right to the bottom. Yeah, this is a kind of a cute box. I should have just made it a little thicker. Um, and the wings have Velcro on the tips, but I don't really know why because you can't really put them in like a natural position. You could do that where they're in front of him and he's hanging, which to me seems not really natural. Um, and if you do it in the back, you kind of have to... Like, you expect it to just wrap like this and then Velcro because we have another stuffed bat that we reviewed last year that does that. But it wouldn't. It won't wrap like that. It, it, it will, but it won't um, close down. You can just use the wire and bend if you want his wings to go around him, um, regular bat style. Or if you want them to go this way, like this, you can, again, use the... Whew, see, it won't Velcro the right way. You can use the wire like this, but the Velcro is not at those areas that will allow him to like velcro they'll just fold which is probably enough if he's hanging and then the wings are like that eh. but they won't velcro that way they'll either velcro this way like I just showed which is again not a really natural position or you can go I'm hoping this will show with my hands you have to curl them back like this it's not even curled around each other and then like that which to me just doesn't look natural. So they put Velcro in odd places for me where it's going to connect. But I don't really have to use the Velcro. The wings are just so bendy and, and whatever that it's just, you can just do whatever like that's cute. And whatever. So just, you know, the cottage is not well made, but we probably won't keep it unless we do it something else with it. We'll just keep him hanging up anyway. Um, and the whole Velcro on the wings is in a weird place that doesn't seem that usable to me, but he is very soft and well made and a cute little bat and you know for the collection he's different and um, he is well constructed like um, other than where the Velcro is it's not it's still put on firmly and whatnot and I feel like I can still bend his wings and stuff and he's not going to break and his material is very thick so I think it's a good sturdy make. A lot of times, you know, something is supposed to be bendable, but you're like, if I bend it too much, it's going to break. I mean, I guess you could just sit there and work the wire until it does, but you, I mean, you have to try. Um, it seems very well made, and the stitching seems good, like he's not going to come unstitched. So he's a really well made plushy bet. He's kind of small, but he's well made. And Gomez said, you have any thoughts that I didn't cover, darling? No, dear, you did it so well. I'm just showing him closer. Closer. Oh. Now our viewers can see his cute little ears. He's other places, but I think Amazon has the, you know, the decent deal on him, so I'm going to leave that link. Often I complain about the deals on Amazon. Often they are more expensive than most places, but I do present the good Amazon deals when I find them. And here are his hooks. Okay. Good. I don't like the hooks on there because a lot of times they'll give you like a my other bat that I like that the Velcro works right on. Um, he has just like a little um, strap on his lower body that you can hang him upside down with, but the feet don't have anything attached. So he's hanging, but the feet are just kind of there, but they're not clutching anything, and that's okay. But I like the fact that he's actually hanging by his feet, so that's nice. That's why I wanted that Gregory the bat that came out in like 79 or something that was this cool vampire bat toy. It's just a rubber bat and you can see the blood pumping in his chest and like um, he actually hangs upside down but he's very expensive now so it's like I would like you know vintage antique toys but all the ones I would like to own are like very expensive. It's very sad. Um, so yeah. Before our time they made good stuff and now it's very expensive to buy. <laughs> very sad. Nobody has a Gregory they want to give me, do they? Like, no. You can buy them for $800 on eBay. What if we have secret fans that want to send you some fan oh, mail? Oh, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> Pixel Dan had him. If he's watching, he can send it. Yay. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to give you my Gregory. <laughs> okay, but anyway, that's another rubber bat that I saw that was actually hanging with his feet, and um, he was really cool. So anybody that grabbed him in 79 that was around to do that was very fortunate. So now they're selling him on eBay for like crazy prices and he doesn't even work because his little fluid in his little blood chest doesn't pump anymore. 
because it dries up because it's old, so. Okay, now I'm just, like, digressing. So it's time to end this cutely spooky review. It's a fun Halloween toy for the family. I, again, like these children's activities toys that you can do with your kids. Um, so many parents are just like, go outside, or here's your video game, or your TV, or your computer, and it's just nice to have Halloween fun where you can really get into the spooky fun with the family. So I'm loving all these different Halloween toys for families. So And again, they're great if you don't have kids for your nieces and nephews and whatever. Um, so, yeah, and until next time... Stay spooky, my friends.